Okay, hi guys. I just made a major completion point on my curve generating apparatus. It's not done, but you'll see that it's basically there. Um, I have that curve on that side and that curve on that side and those little bearings on both sides and then when it gets to that side it's got to stop and then it's got this awesome handle so here's how it works uh, I have one half by 20 bolts a key to grinder diamond wheel there's a junk piece of glass and I'm going to only do this on some junk for a few times as the turntable is turning, and I'll probably go a lot slower like this, you know, 1 RPM, this diamond wheel will be spinning. And so, um, with the handle, out it comes. And, uh, of course, we'll have an altitude thing. I can adjust that up here. But that will be grinding as the mirror is turning. And then a little further in. So, I'll go ahead and run the motor here. I, uh, I'll have it out there, of course it'll be lower, and uh, maybe go faster, it just depends on what this thing feels like when I'm doing it. Then I can go in a little further, and then in a little further, and a little further until I'm finally there. And uh, I never like to go more than a twentieth of an inch, so when I do my first shot, it'll probably only be from there to there. Then I'll crank these bad boys down one turn. That'll be a 20th of an inch. That'll get me from out there in. And then I'll go down another 20th of an inch and all the way. So, um, I'm going to have to make sure that the air can breathe while I have some waterproofing going on. So I'm gonna get some ABS shrouding that separates the electricity from the water. And in doing that, I'm going to have to make sure I have an air pass so that this thing doesn't overheat. I'm also going to have to dam up and water root the water that leaves this. So I'll basically have it troughed out to my grass. But um, I may also get some kind of acme screw. So instead of pulling it with my hand, it's going to be, uh, up, you know, cranked. So right now it's it's okay for a you know 16 inch mirror. Well, let's see, I can go out to about there. It looks like maybe a 18 inch mirror, and then down to the center. But when I do the 33s, 36s, and 40s, this guy will have to come further out, and these guys, I'll have to put another one out here so it's more stable. But uh, dog on it. Um, I'm kind of excited to give this thing a, a crank up and see what happens. I'm not going to actually do that until I've got the water rooting issue solved because I do not need to light myself electrically this week, maybe next week. Okay, anyway, then when I'm done doing mirrors, this I'll take all that crap off. It'll just be another mirror making machine again. All right, I'll have to come up with a name for this thing.